VXLAN went through a number of phases for ways to get the remote VTAP IP information. Initially it started with a flood and learn process and finally moved to use a proper control plane EVPN. EVPN is a pretty good control plane as previous methods relied on data plane flood and learn behavior hindering the scalability of VXLAN domains. The first phase of VXLAN uses multicast based transport with no control plane. End host reachability relies on data plane learning techniques. This version of VXLAN wasn't too popular as it required IP multicast to be enabled in the core to aid the learning process. When it was originally released, the uptake was pretty slow. We needed a way to remove the requirement for IP multicast in the core and have deterministic layer 240. The second phase of VXLAN was slightly better with unicast only transport mode, flood and learn, and relied on head end replication to flood via the data plane. It still operated with a flood and learn mechanism, but did not rely on having IP multicast enabled in the core to aid the learning process. The third phase of VXLAN does not rely on flooding learn techniques and uses an actual control plane for dynamic host discovery and distribution across all VTAPs. This mode reduces flooding in the core of the network and increases VXLAN domain scalability. EVPN mode reduces the flooding required to learn VTAP and host reachability information which was previously carried out with flood and learning along with either IP multicast in the core or head end replication. The new control plane to use with VXLAN is an existing protocol, BGP, yet again implemented with a new NLRI. To support different network types, BGP is often extended to carry a variety of information, not just IP prefixes, and these are carried in different NLRIs. A new EVPN NLRI is added to multi-protocol BGP to carry both Layer 2 MAC and Layer 3 IP information. Now we have VXLAN data plane along with BGP EVPN control plane. The data plane is used to transport the packets and the control plane discovers and distributes endpoint reachability information. The control plane enables the ability to collect VTAP, VNI, IP and MAC addresses and distribute them accordingly to interested VTAPs. At a very high level, EVPN control plane which can leverage either an IBGP, EBGP or root reflector design offers a learning process to dynamically discover end host information which could be IP address or MAC address and distribute this information to other VTAPs with multi-protocol BGP. As a result, all VTAPs are aware of all reachability information for their subsequent VNIs.